शुक्लांबरधरम विष्णु शशिवर्णम चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यानोपात अवोत्तरातु गणाध्यक्ष फालचंद्र गजानन वक्रतुंड शूर्पकर्णक हेरंब स्कूर्वज नमो गणपत नम प्रमद पद नमस्ते अस्तु लंबोदराय कदंताय विघ्न विनाशिने शिवसुताय श्रीवरदमूर्त नमो नम विघ्नेशराय नम अपराध क्षमापनाल अवाप्य तम कर्पूरणीराजन दर्शया रक्ष रक्षा धारया नमस्ते and welcome to kyg my trip to the himalayas had a threefold purpose the first was tapas austerity tapas yoga or the yoga of austerity and self purification is one of the paths in traditional yoga in this yoga practice one pushes one's body and mind to its limits way way out of their comfort zone thus allowing the spirit within to bloom to reveal itself as it were trekking in the himalayas um doing yoga there undertaking a pilgrimage of this kind is one of my ways to practice tapas yoga secondly it was to consecrate the kaivalya lingam the crystal lingam at the kaivalya yoga gurukulam altar represents traditional yoga and a symbolic of the infinite self within i wanted this lingam to be consecrated to be blessed with the divine healing and enlightening energies of some of the most powerful spiritual portals in the himalayas so that it could in turn heal and bless those who come to kyg i believe in my heart that there are portals on this planet places with a unique combination of the five elements earth water air fire space these places potent possess potentials to release one's mind from the limitations of the senses and yoke it with one's spirit so it can experience greater more expansive dimensions of consciousness so invoking divine healing energies at these places and consecrating the lingam meant a lot to me i think this will always be part of kyg's pilgrimages and thirdly i wanted to visit places that have been part of ancient indian history i wanted to walk the paths of saints yogis warriors of ancient india I had about 24 days with me on this trip to India. And so keeping in mind the limitations of time from among the hundreds of spiritually charged places in the Himalayas, I decided to visit the following. The first on my list was of course Rishikesh. That was my first stop from Delhi, a divine place filled with so many yoga ashrams and temples dating back thousands of years it's a pleasure to be in this city at any time open throughout the year the second was badrinath the place where lord vishnu is believed to be in penance a penance lasting many 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 centuries this town and temple is a destination for hundreds if not thousands of pilgrims in india even to this day and then of course there was the satopanth lake situated about 25 kilometers from badrinath uh, into the mountains it's known as the lake of truth it's a mystical lake the path to this lake was discovered and trodden over 5000 years ago 
by five of the greatest warriors as recorded in India's ancient history, Pancha Pandavas as they are called, Nakula, Sahadeva, Arjuna, Bhima, Yudhishthira and their wife Draupadi. So the trek to this Satopant lake was their last journey as it is recorded and the exact places where each of them dropped their body, in other words died, has been recorded and I wanted to be at those places, meditate on those places. And finally there was this Panch Kedar, the five ancient temples dedicated to Shiva, the primordial yogi. These temples um, are Kalpeshwar in Urgam, Rudranath near Sagar, Tungnath temple near Chopta and Madh Maheshwar temple near Ransi and of course there is the Kedarnath temple in Kedarnath. These five portals were discovered by the Pandavas um, over 5,000 years ago and again consecrated into temples, uh, meaning into places of worship and penance by a divine sage known as Adi Shankara over a thousand years ago. That's how ancient these places are. My journey began in New Delhi, where I landed from USA in the wee hours of September 19th, 2019. It's always a wonderful feeling to be back in India, a country that is always colorful, always crowded, always clamorous. From the town, I took a cab to Rishikesh. My plan was to spend a day in this divine valley, Rishikesh, and then to head to Badrinath. The drive from New Delhi airport to Rishikesh is about seven hours, six to seven hours. And the two cities, Haridwar and Rishikesh, in Uttarakhand, India, are considered to be the gateways to the Himalayas. Known to house hundreds of ashrams, many of them in existence for centuries, these two cities could easily be considered as the capital of yoga and spirituality. I undertake these journeys with a mindset of a believer. To me, these are spiritual adventures. The videos I share in this, in this series is from a believer's perspective, cause the experiences I've had in this path of yoga and meditation, the dimensions I've experienced guide me to unconditionally believe in the powerful symbolism and energies associated with names such as Shiva, Vishnu and the like. These are popularly known as Hindu gods, but to me, these are not gods, goddesses out there somewhere looking down upon you, but these are symbolic representations of energy centers within our own bodies. The videos and pictures I have shared uh, in this series do not do justice to the actual beauty, the, the powerful energies I experienced firsthand. However, it's my wish that you feel at least some of the joy, some of the spiritual energies that I experienced along this trek. Clean. Hey.